Hey, what is up, you guys? Super any nostalgia, Anthony John Toronto, Peanut Butter Joe Massacre, Video Space Kid Icarus here. Pro Jared. And today I'm gonna be reviewing Wes Craven's movie, Wes Craven's New Nightmare. And if you don't know who Wes Craven is, Wesley Earl Wes Craven was born on August 2nd, 1939, and he died, sadly, on August 30th, 2015. He was an American film director, writer, producer, and actor known for his work on horror films, particularly, you know, slashers. He was best known for creating Nightmare on Elm Street franchise with Freddy Krueger as the character, directing his first installment, and Wes Craven's new Nightmare, which I'm going to be talking about today, and co-writing the Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors with Bruce Wagner. Craven also directed all four films in the Scream series and co-created the Ghostface character. Some of his other films include The Hills Have Eyes, The Last House on the Left, The People Under the Stairs, Red Eye, The Serpent and the Rainbow, and Vampire in Brooklyn, just to name a few. On August 30th, 2015, Craven died of uh, brain cancer at the age of 76 at his home in Los Angeles. And uh, in his early life, Craven was born in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, to the son of Carolyn Nee Miller and Paul Eugene Craven. He was raised in a strict Baptist family. Craven earned uh, an undergraduate degree in English and psych psychology from uh, Wheaton College in Illinois, and a master's degree in, in philosophy and writing from John Hopkins uh, University. Craven briefly taught, actually, in English at uh, Westminster College and was a humanities professor at Clarkston College of Technology, later named Clarkston University in post of New York. And uh, surprisingly, he additionally taught at Madrid Waddington High School in Madrid, New York. He... he, he, he during this time, he purchased a, a used, um, now this is a little interesting uh, backstory on Wes, uh, during this time he actually purchased a used 16mm film camera and began making his short movies. Uh, when his friend Tom Chapin informed him of a messenger position at a New York City post-production company run by his brother, future folk rock star, future folk rock star, Harry Chapin, Craven moved to Manhattan. He, his first uh, creative job in the film industry was as a sound editor for Chapin's firm. Recalling his early training, Craven said in um, 1994, Harry was a fantastic film editor and produced uh, and producer of in industrials. He taught me the Chapin method of editing, uh, nuts and bolts, nuts and bolts, get rid of the, you know, the access, you know, Craven afterward became the, the, f the firm's assistant manager and broke into film editing with, uh, you've got to walk you gotta walk it like you talk it or you'll lose that beat in 1971 and uh you know uh he when when he actually moved on from that in, in his directing and writing career uh surprisingly enough he uh frequently crab co collaborated with uh sean s cunningham in in his future in his future debut uh the last house on the left cunningham served as you know the producer and later in Craven's best-known horror film, A Nightmare on Elm Street, Cunningham directed one of the chase scenes, although he was uncredited. Their characters, Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees, uh, appeared together in the slasher film Freddy vs. Jason, with Cunningham acting as producer, while screenwriter Victor Miller is credited as character creator. As character creator. Later in, uh, you know, The Last House on the Left remake in 2009, both Cunningham and Craven share producer credits. Craven had a hand in launching actor Johnny Depp's career. Craven um, is actually, you know, he's partially known for um, actually having like a, like a, a, hu a huge hand in, in, in uh, launching uh, Johnny Depp's career, actually, with, you know, his, his role in, uh, in uh, A Nightmare on Elm Street. Although known for, you know, he, he, he's known for directing horror and uh, thriller films. He, he's worked on two films which are outside the genre, Music of the Heart in 1999, and uh, as one of the 22 directors responsible for Percy Jason in, in uh, 2006. And Craven created uh, Coming of Rage, a five-issue comic book series with 30 Days of Night comic book writer Stephen Niles. The series was actually released in digital form in 2014 by Liquid Comics with a print edition scheduled for an October 2015 debut. And, uh, you know, his film style, uh, it, it, he tends to share a common exploration of the nature of reality, you know, in, in, as in Nightmare on Elm Street, for example. He, he dealt with the, the consequences of dreams in real life. New, new Nightmare, you know, it, it, I'll talk about it later. Um, you know, and The Serpent in the Rainbow uh, portrays a man who cannot distinguish between nightmarish visions and reality, you know, and in Scream, in Scream, the... 
characters frequently reference horror films uh, similar to their situations. And at one point, Billy Loomis tells his girlfriend that it's just a big movie, you know? And it's, it's, it's crazy stuff. The concept was actually emphasized in the sequels as copycat stalkers reenact the, the events of a new film about Woodsboro, Woodsboro being the, you know, the fictional town where Scream is set, killings occurring in Scream. Scream, you know, included a scene mentioning Richard Gere, uh, uh, urban legend, I mean, Craven stated in interviews that he received calls from, from agents telling him that if he left that scene in, he would never work again. The film, uh, uh, the last film he directed before his death was uh, Scream 4. And you know, uh, and you know while, while on the topic of Wes Craven, he, he's received num numerous awards, like, you know, you know, while, and you know, while on the topic of Wes Craven, he's, he's actually received numerous awards uh, during his career. And, 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 you know, he's, he, including the Saturn Award in 1977, he won the Sears Film Festival Award for The Hills Have Eyes, and, you know, the Film Festival Award for Scream, and in 2012, he won, he won another festival award um, for his lifetime achievements. And uh, Craven actually designed, uh, in other work that he's done, he's actually done some design work for Google. He made the uh, 2008 logo for Google for uh, Halloween, and was the second celebrity pers personality to take over the YouTube homepage on Halloween. And, you know, he actually had a letter published in 1968 in Life magazine praising periodical coverage of contemporary rock music, in particular Frank Zappas. And, you know, in, in his personal life, he actually, uh, uh, his first marriage was to Bonnie Broker, who uh, produced two children, uh, Jonathan Craven, 1965, and Jessica um, Craven, you know, respectfully, you know, uh, born, born in 1968. And, uh, you know, Jonathan's actually a writer and director himself, which is pretty crazy. And Jessica was a singer-songwriter in the group called the Chapin Sisters, which is very interesting. The marriage ended in 1970, and in, in 1982, Craven married a woman who would uh, become known professionally as actress Mimi Craven. The, the two later divorced. And with Wes Craven stating in interviews that the marriage dissolved after he discovered it was no longer anything but a sham. In 2004, Craven married uh, Ia Lubunka. Ugh, she frequently worked as producer on Craven's films, and Craven was actually a birder, interestingly enough. He, he joined the Audubon California's board of directors, uh, and his favorite films included Night of the Living Dead, 1968, The Virgin Spring, and, and The Red River, for you know obvious reasons that I'm not going to get into in this review. Um, And you know, when it comes to his death and and his and his legacy, and you know, when when it comes to his death and his and his legacy, um, you know, it's it's you know he, he the the tenth episode of Scream was and dedicated in his memory, you know. So that's at least he has that. It's that's that's good, I think, you know. And you know. So, what do I think about Wes Craven's new nightmare? Well, to start off, it, it was okay. 